Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense from a Gen X perspective. And I try my best to keep it down under the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, by the way, that means that there is something very, very, very important. And not important to liberals, libertars, people who believe in God, people like to smoke, people like to drink. And what I mean by those terminologies, those little words I just said, if you believe in God outside yourself, you shouldn't watch my videos. If you are religious, you shouldn't really watch my videos. Your, your attention span, you don't, you're not interested in research and development. Okay, if you like to smoke, you know, nine times a ten when I talk to smokers, they don't care about their health. So why would you want to care about your health so much when you listen to me? You're not going to listen because you're so swag or hanging with the bros. You know, you just want to smoke it away because your brain cells, you can't comprehend what I'm saying. I'm talking too fast. Okay, it's, 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 Certain things I have to say I have to slow down because when you smoke, it actually slows your fucking brain cells now. You do know that, right? Drinking so it slows your brain cells down as well, right? It doesn't increase it, it decreases it. But and to those people who are sensitive should not watch me. Um, there's a, tons of you, variations of you, who just don't have the time to deal with my crazy ass. Going down the rabbit hole, not up to an asshole. Now, let's get on with the topic for today. Today's topic will be about, this is advice for women. Okay, so a lot of women will be thrown off by my intro, okay, you know. Um, but that's a good thing, okay, because they, they, they rather get harsh critique from Kevin Samuels, rest in peace of soul, than to get the real McCoy, but that's okay, okay. So this is advice for women, and then I say to women all the time, I saw this video in the past, but it's not going to be popular. Which one you rather choose? Now, I'm going to relate this to something all the way back in the, the late 50s, okay, between the 50s and 60s was a golden age. But near the end of the era of the 50s, the feminist movement was created by Gloria Steinem, which actually came from a black woman who was a, a house slave, okay? And they got the idea to uh, use the feminist movement to create an extortion system for weak men, okay? You know, so if women want to be empowered, okay, because there no two men are equal, so they want to be equal to a man, you know? They had strategized a way so they can separate the sexes, male and female. Because you know there's women out there who don't want to follow the Christian way, like Little House on the Prairie. Little House on a Prairie, like the Amish family, okay, who lives by Christian means, okay. But let me get it to you straight. We'll give it to you real in 100 right now. Would you rather deal with a highly disciplined man who is educated and boring who will discipline your ass because you didn't have a father figure, okay? Or would you rather live with some guy you're attracted to and he's down to earth, okay? But you're really attracted to him, but he end up, you, you actually was attracted to a beta alpha male, okay? A lot of women are about a beta woman who's watching me and everywhere else to go. And, you know, a beta woman, like I said before, are women who wear makeup, you wear, you're not a virgin, okay, you're a beta, okay, if you're not a virgin, you're not a unicorn, okay, <laughs> you automatically lost that with alphas, automatically, but if you're not a virgin, you're not into polygyny, you're beta, you're, you, the woman's purpose is to procreate with as many, just powerful kings, you know, she's supposed to share with her sisterhood, but that's not really taught in traditional means, okay, it's taught in Africa, the traditional ways is actually in other countries, they actually still practice it, I'm shocked, okay, but a lot of women think that when they get in a relationship, it's a monogamous relationship. So you're beta. These th these main three things, there's other things too, but I'm not going to talk about that here, that makes you a beta. You want to wear makeup to impress a beta alpha male. Beta alpha male is only 25% of the construct of men out there. They're very attractive males. They don't have problems with women. I knew this guy who was a beta alpha male, and he just slept around with all these women irresponsibly. That dude had 30 children. Okay, irresponsible beta male, or you want to call them beta alpha. Beta alphas don't have problems with women. Beta alphas are about eight, nines, and tens on the scale. They don't talk. They don't need to talk. They just want pussy. Women know this. Okay, they just feel that their pussy has more power than his um, wandering mindset. But the since this beta alpha male don't know how to lay down the foundation, he runs with multiple women behind your back. 
And this is where your father is supposed to come into play to make sure he doesn't have that intention. But you women don't want to listen to that part right there. Right? Do I have to get permission from my father? Yeah, at all times. Okay, You're not supposed to be leaving out. The, you read in Deuteronomy, what did it say about the, the sacredness of virginity? I'm talking about the shit, right? Virginity is important. As a matter of fact, in Africa, when they find, if they find out you're not a virgin, they, they outcast your ass. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verses 13 through uh, 22, it actually says the woman should be stoned or exiled, okay? Because a woman has to bleed 90% half a hymen, yes. So there's women out there say, oh, women, no. you sticking two tampoons in your fucking pussy is not the fucking way. You're not supposed to stick them tampoons. They actually cause a shock and all sorts of problems psychologically. Don't stick nothing up there. You're supposed to wear a pad. In Africa, they don't wear that. They don't usually wear that in the, in the bush. They don't wear that shit. They wear it. They have a simple cloth and then just let it run. Okay. But anyway, <clears throat> would you rather deal? <clears throat> now, this is how the feminist movement occurred. A handful of women, one of them was Gloria Stein, was basically complaining, saying, we want equal rights, right? In short. So she worked with the CIA. So they had managed a way, like the mafia or the Jewish empires, that they can be to see how they can free women from living in servitude, which is really not servitude, it's order, okay, with the man. They were taking care of the children. Children is a high responsibility. Cooking for your husband is not a high responsibility. Staying home is a form of a responsibility and discipline. Yes, it is. Women would disagree with me. I don't care who. Okay, it's just, you don't want to be in the house. So these handful of women said they were being abused. Which, of course, they may have been abused, okay, yeah. But the majority of women said, no, no, we won't go. I remember that. I used to talk to a couple of Caucasians, and I used to be a personal carrier. They told me there was majority of women they said, no, we don't want equal rights. We want to live peacefully and in a Christian way. But the problem was that the handful had some powerful, powerful beings in there, okay? And that was Gloria Steinem, okay? She was rallying up people. Rallying up all the women, getting them riled up. You can do just as a man can because you ain't making enough money. Whatever excuses it is. Whatever the excuses is. It happened between the 19, late 50s. Because I know between the 1950s and 60s was a golden age. is where most women were in the house. They were white women. We're going to talk about white women. Okay, that was, black women was actually serving in the house, cleaning. Okay, in the house. Okay, because it's cleaning. Okay, because they were lazy, because the, the, the wives didn't want to clean the house, you know, so they got to get a maid, okay? Like when you you watch The Prince of Bel-Air, okay, you know, I'm like, no, you don't need a maid. You both don't need to be making incomes, okay? You could have a backup, you could have insurance plans or whatever, but there's other ways of making money, baby, people. But anyway, would you rather, okay, have a man who's disciplined and may get hurt by him, okay? Or would you rather deal with a pretty boy father? And don't get permission from your father, okay, and get fucked over and overall in long-term wise, right? And this is what most women are going through. Most women are actually feeling that brunt of karmic energy when they choose the wrong men without their father's permission. I'm a Gen X. I know. I know what is this is going to lead to. There's going to be... No woman watches my videos, but I do make sense, a lot of sense. And I'm old school. I'm trying to tell you what I learned from white folks. White folks told me this. When women don't want to be contained, they want to think that they're equal. And so they get that opportunity. Okay, Gloria Steinem started it. So who's going to finish it? The alpha men. And though there's no alpha men now these days, there are going to be a growing number of alpha men to realize that marriage is not worth the time. But if you want to make a relationship better, okay, let me give you some pointers, you women. You have to do polygyny. You got to keep your virginity. You got to bleed. Okay, and I'm telling you right the fuck now. Men don't cheat as much women as women do, babies. Women cheat ten times more, and I don't have to say this. It comes from a woman's mouth. I actually talk to them personally as a fucking therapist. They say they cheat all the time, either with the little dildos, little machines they have. And, Okay, or they'll do it on the side or on the job. They can actually, they're so more, they're, women are so versatile cheating that men can't even detect it. I remember this old 60, this couple been together for 20 to 30 years, 60 years old. This woman kept 
the letters of an old past boyfriend she had over 20 some years and he was together for 30 some years so he found that shit out he dropped her he got married to her they were white he dropped her and she cheated that was over 20 years ago men cherish a marriage more than women facts okay this is why men, a lot of times men get coerced into marriage. They don't know it. They don't know it. They're only doing that because they want to please you. And that's why they put you on the pedestal. Whenever you, if any woman gets married, you should be fucking worshiping the ground he walks on. If he ever smacks you, you should be happy and delighted he smacked you because he's the real fucking McCoy, right? But a lot of women will disagree. A lot of women don't understand what accountability is. They don't understand that the hand represents the power of the Lord. They don't understand that. Women are like children. I'm not saying all women are like children. But when I get hold of them, I tell them, hey, you know, let's slow down, relax here. I'm going to be safe. I'm going to be mental secure. I'm not cheating. I'm doing polygyny. So cheating is out of the question. Polygyny cancels out cheating. And you women got to start getting your fathers involved. I'm always looking for the motherfucking fathers. If you're a virgin, I'm going to look for your father first. If, you're for, if your father tells me straight up you're a virgin and then I find out that you're not a virgin, he better not look at me as bad guy at all because we're going to find out. You're going to have your hymen. I'm going to inspect it. I'm going to make sure it's there. Okay? Now, I might make some negotiations for some females who know how to use the body the right way. But I, I don't break cherries just to, oh, boast about it. No, I don't do that. Okay? I don't do that at all. It's just that that tendency of lying. That lying comes on the woman's side more than the man's side. Okay? When you manipulate someone or you try to trick a man, okay, that karma comes back on you. Trust me on this. If your father haven't trained you well, I'll be out. Because I'm not going through no hell. Okay, the father usually tells me what you've been doing. As a matter of fact, there's some guys out there who, who are great fathers who are snitch on their daughters and say, nope, nope, I can't give the, the recommendation. It's gone. I saw this man, this old man. He looked like he was back from the 60s. <laughs> he was a black guy with a chain on his neck. He said, my daughters are loud and they do not respect me. He just simply said it. I don't know what happened in that relationship. Lauren Spencer went through the same shit. He disowned his daughter because she chose a path. She did not want to listen to her father. There's a tons of guys out there which are not heard in this feministic society, effeminate society, who don't like the education. They call these men controlling, narcissists, and they're not. They're not at all. And as I said before, Again, would you rather men deal with a man who has pretty much got his P's and Q's together? Not rich. See, the rich bitches okay, who are looking for money, they've been trained wrong. It's not about how much money a man makes. It's really not. I saw a homeless couple in the street when I was homeless. And I walked up to them. I remember saying these words. I said, she is super beautiful. She said, sorry, she's talking. This woman could be... A model. And he was not really that attractive, but he he had a gold beard. He was they both looked like compatible in a sense. He was like a seven and she was a, a one number above. Because her physique she took she took care of herself, okay, right? So when I saw her, I was like, I was like, okay, that's great, man. So that's what love is. Love is when you're you past the test, because I'm an alpha to test that shit. And I tell guys all of the time, and you women too, to test the relationship out early so you won't have a problem with um, some fundamental value problems with loyalty and fidelity. Okay? You know, just test the relationship out. Just do it early. Don't wait. See, the problem with most people is that you wait too fucking long. And everybody is a liability, especially women. Okay? Women are bigger liabilities. Men have more property. Okay, this is a fact. Okay? And men have more things to lose when in a relationship. Women, all they have to lose is just sitting on their ass and making babies. And that's a blessing. Because all a woman needs to do is go to court to get her child support and her alimony. Right? But other than that, if a man ain't did shit and he's trying to tell you something simple and you can't even listen to that, that command, okay? You can't respect command or you can't 
respect when a man tells you or asks you something to do to make things better and you keep ignoring that man you deserve everything you get you women keep on choosing these pretty boy motherfuckers keep choosing them I teach my daughters all the time the prettier they are the harder they fall and this is why guys already know that the pretty face is usually not falls in disgrace it's not the pretty face that gets you by. Okay. Nine times out of ten. When you need romance, turn off the television. Turn off the motherfucking television. Television. Tell a lie. Tell a lie. Tell a lie, vision. Because that is what's destroying your mindset. Oh, this man is so fucking beautiful. I will pull down my panties and get wet and pee you in his mouth. Right? You are going to learn. And then you get turned on by what she says. I, t I watch my daughter say so that shit. And I say, hey, you know what you're watching, right? Don't get horny up in this motherfucker. You going straight to the adoption channel. Okay. She think I'm joking. She be on the floor bowing and say, oh, I need daddy's love. Daddy makes me happy. You better appreciate what you get. When you meet a good man, right? You're supposed to compliment him. I teach my daughters, as you get older, you better say something nice about daddy. The least thing you can say is, daddy, make me happy every day. Because if you don't, you lost. You belong to the streets. I don't care if you have daughters or sons. They must appreciate the things that you do. And that's all I really got to say. So would you rather take a chance with a strong man who's just too much for you? Or would you rather take a chance with the rest of the 25% bombs out there? Why don't you women fall for your type? Take off that motherfucking makeup. Take off the motherfucking heels. Take care of your motherfucking health. Go out there and play basketball with the man. Play more video games. What the hell is the problem with y'all women? Lately, I haven't met, I haven't encountered any intelligent women no, nowhere lately. No. They don't listen. They got wax in their ears like my ex. I told her strictly before she got here. You know, this country is owned by two people. The white man and me. And she wanted to do her little thing. I said, I'm not. I'm not part of that shit. I'm just making sure you get. I get paid. Okay. I think about getting paid before I get laid. Don't turn gay because of a lack of a lay, right? You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of guys out there who turn gay, you know, because of the fact that, you know, they they can't get no pussy. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. You better start. I'm telling you, that works. Okay? It's, your health is more important than wealth, right? Other than that, that's all I really got to say. Don't take a chance on pretty boy. Pretty boy Chad. That Chad will fuck you over like fire. Because you ain't got no... Does he, when he sees you, all he sees is ass. And then sometimes some of them Chads will try to get a car. But I see, I see something spectacular happen. And I see guys who look good now, who look like beta alphas, and they can't pull women because now women are so superficial, they only looking at materialism. Oh, oh my, oh my fucking God. Where these women come from? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I tell a woman all the time, I say, okay, you're not a virgin. You got no money. Okay. <laughs> no money, no honey. No honey, no money, no honey. And that's how prostitutes work. But real alphas talk like that, okay? And I'm one of them. I usually tell women, you got no virginity. You got no father. You don't do polygyny. Even if you wasn't a virgin. I'm like, okay, you ain't no virgin. Okay, so let me see. Let me check the pussy and see how it is. You squeeze it? You trying to catch or trap me or something? Okay, at least that. But I won't get that far. Because I tell females straight up, you don't feel good and it's done. Because I do polygyny. There's no way I'm fucking with one female as an alpha. No! No! You have to procreate. The purpose of relationships is to procreation, not for lust. The Bible clearly tells you what lust is. It's the abomination. 
it's a pleasurable thing that you have to have when you are in a relationship with your partner. Not with any stranger. But we live America is the greatest horror Babylon there is. Some Gamora is right here in America. Other than that, that's all I really gotta say, guys. Got, you know, girls and dudettes and everything in between. I'm about to move out of here now. I'm always moving. Every few years I'm always moving. The spirit has moved me in so many places. You know. And though it feels good, sometimes it gets a little depressing. Because I'll miss this place. I got this fucking racist straggly a racist scraggly balls upstairs. You know, he still haven't learned his lesson about temperament. You don't have the temperament. It's, it's, it's like Scrooge McDuck, you know, Scrooge, okay. But you know, there are people like that all across the United States. Out of the 65% of Caucasians that live here, I believe about 30% of them are racist. They live far out in the boondock somewhere, okay? But I know who they are when I see them, okay? But I don't say nothing. I say, shh. But um, over than that, you know, a lot of times I just say when people are angry and they're bitter or closed-minded, they're going to be born as the thing they hate the most in their next life. Hypothetically, I'm just speaking, maybe, maybe, if you're that angry, you may become that thing you hate the most. Other than that, that's all I really got to say, guys. Um, I love you all, but I hate the many of you. Love animals more than humans, but I don't love the animals. Because I'm not your average man. I'm not your Peter Pan. These videos are therapeutic for me. And I don't break their policies. I don't break policies. I talk about my experiences in my life. And I don't hate on nobody. But sometimes they get pulled down. I don't know. Don't care. I got other channels. Okay. Peace.